one in the spirit. And uh, we know, as I was reading the prophets, I, I extend a word to you, Minister Trent, as this great ministry of altar building an altar ministry stretches across Ontario. The Lord is going to widen your territory because there are places yet in Ontario not touched by human feet. Mm -hmm. The Lord will extend your ministry into the First Nations peoples. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, uh, you will camp out <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ and be prepared. You're still in Ontario. Ontario is huge. Yes. But the Lord makes no mistake in lining up the minister with the word. So today, let the ministry of Elijah rest upon you in the, name, in the name of Jesus Christ as you build yet another altar of praise today onto the great name of Yahweh. And as you preach today, O oh God, let Baal's prophets tremble. O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you minister today. Yes, Lord God. And let the fire of God Jesus Christ. come down and devour in the, name of Jesus Christ. the sacrifice upon the altar that you build in the name today. Of Jesus Christ. For you're not just preaching today, but go on, sir, and build the altar of the Lord. I'm Elohim, the Lord has got my attention with this altar thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Spirit of the Lord never depart from your house and from your labors. In the name of Jesus. But in that day, the Lord was exalted. Elijah was never forgotten. Hallelujah. May the Lord increase your work forever. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Minister Trent. And his raiment was white. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Folks. God. Praise God. I'm going to introduce our man for the hour today, Apostle. I turn it back. Praise to God. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, this is a very fitting reading today. Glory to God. We we want to welcome again uh, one of our own, Minister Errol Trench Hallelujah. of Trench Altar Ministries Amen. as circumstance changer. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> today we are one in the spirit and uh, we know as I was reading the prophets I I extend a word to you Minister Trent as this great ministry of altar building Amen. Hallelujah. and altar ministry yeah. stretches across Ontario yes the Lord is going to widen your territory because there are places yet in Ontario yes hallelujah not touched by human feet mm -hmm. the Lord will extend your ministry into the First Nations peoples. Bless the name, name of the Lord. And, uh, you will camp out <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ and be prepared. 
you're still in Ontario. Ontario is huge. Yes, yes. But the Lord makes no mistake in lining up the minister with the word. Amen. So today, Amen. let the ministry of Elijah rest upon you. Yes, Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you build yet another altar of praise today onto the great name of Yahweh. And as you preach today, O oh God, let Baal's prophets yes. tremble. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you minister to him. Hallelujah. And let the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. come down and devour in the, name of Jesus Christ. the sacrifice upon the altar that you build. In the name of Jesus Christ. For you're not just preaching today, but go on, sir, and build the altar of the Lord and Elohim, the Lord has got my attention with this altar thing. The name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Spirit of the Lord never depart from your house and from your labors. But in that day, the Lord was exalted. Elijah was never forgotten. May the Lord increase your work forever. Hallelujah. And mm -hmm. so Minister Trent, I, as the Lord would have me to minister this short chorus, yes. Yes. as we continue to press into the nearness of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, let us hear this. Yes. Close to thee, close to thee, close to thee. Just want wherever you are, if you can hear me, if you can hear me, just say amen. 
Amen. And I want Amen. everybody just to think Amen. of the apostle's voice right now. Just think Amen. of her voice yes. and just concentrate in it in, in your prayer and just stretch your hand towards her and say, Lord, touch her voice. Yes, Lord, touch. I want you to be in, in agreement with me and just stretch your hands in the spirit of the Almighty God and stretch it towards the apostle as if you were standing right in front of her and say, God, touch her voice now. Yes, Come on, everybody in agreement. Just stretch toward the apostle in the spirit and said, Lord God, touch her voice right now, this very moment. Yes, Lord. Glory. Glory, yes. glory, 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 glory. Yes. Ah. Yes, Lord. Somebody need to say that one more time. The Lord gave her a, a ministry, but the, if, if it, the voice messing around today, I want you to stretch your hand in the spirit of the Almighty God and said, Lord, touch her voice. Lord, yeah. Yeah. Voice over the listen to me for a moment. Voice over the nation is not someone standing, is someone speaking. Let me say this again. Voice over the nation is not someone standing, but is someone speaking. So I want you to stretch your hands in the spirit of the Almighty God. Stretch your hand and say, Lord God, touch her voice now. In the name of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. In the name. In the name of the Almighty God. You're more than welcome, Apostle. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. We are well. We are well. Amen. When, when, when Jesus was going about, or the Holy Spirit going about, or God going about, which is, a, as we talk about the Trinity, and he saw the devil, he said, devil, where were you? He said, I'm going about up and down all around town. In other words, around town, for the devil is all over the world. Around town, when we talk about we're going around town, it's about we in the city, but the devil going around town is all about the world. And God asked him a question. Have you considered my servant Job? Anybody remember that? Hallelujah. And he said, how could I, when you've touched the bill, you build everything around this man, nobody could come close to him. Hallelujah. So you see, what I'm trying to say to you today, that the enemy is always considering God's servant. Do you hear me, somebody? Hallelujah. Oh, you're not with me today. I, I need some... I need, I said to you, talk to me, talk to me. The devil is always considering God's servant. He always considering God's servant, yes. <laughs> you see, if you have nothing to do with the devil, the devil have nothing to do with you. <laughs> God, somebody not hearing me today. Somebody not hearing me. I hear you. You see, back in the Caribbean... I didn't even say good morning or good evening. But back in back in the Caribbean, there is a thing called ants nest. And all you see is a pile of dirt that a little higher than normal. And as you can pass by the ants nest all day. Or you can pass by the ants nest all night. And you could pass by the ants nest every hour. You could even lay down at the ants nest. But the minute you put your foot or your finger in and wake up the ants nest, trouble the upon you. So what I'm trying to say to you, when you step out and start talk about God, trouble upon you with the devil. So somebody need to hear what I'm talking about today. Yes. Yes. Somebody need to hear and if, if this is the wrong audience Bring another one for me today But I'm telling you The minute you start speak the word of the almighty God The devil said I don't like that person You see if you lay down and doing okay And don't worry about the devil The devil said okay don't worry about that one Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you lay down, like I said, the ants nest, you know, my something. If you you could anybody here from the Caribbean? Hallelujah. Anybody here from the Caribbean? Hallelujah. I am talking about ants nest. You know, you can pass and the ants go about his business and you go about yours. But the minute you start wake up ants nest, you start run around. <laughs> 
And I hope today somebody here will say, I want to trouble the devil's answers. Oh, God. I hope somebody here today watching and said, I want to trouble the devil's answers. Oh, and I'm telling you something, the reason I ask you to stretch forth and pray for the apostle's voice is because each and every day, voice over the nation troubles the devil's answers. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. I wish I have some praying people here with me today. Amen. Hmm. Mm. The word, and by the way, please forgive me for my behavior. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, my brother. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let me let me let me do what good people should do. Pastor, God bless you. Uh, Minister Ovid, God bless you. Minister Pratis, all the friends and family. Good afternoon. But sometimes that's how we go. The Lord take your right in, and you don't have time to say how they do. We bless you, my brother. We bless you. We lift you up again. To God be the glory. I'm going to ask somebody, if you can, get yourself a pen and a paper, and if you can, fasten your seatbelt. Oh, hallelujah. If you can, get yourself a pen and paper, but at the same time, get yourself fasten your seatbelt. Amen. Usually, I like to talk to Minister Patrice before the, um, a day before, and I give him a little bit of preps, and Unfortunately, I at about eight o'clock, and we set a time for eight o'clock. And when I by about eight o'clock, the Lord had me in in deep in in in, in prior yesterday that I sent a message and said cancel rehearsal. <laughs> I said cancel rehearsal. Let me say this again. I was we usually do a little bit of prep back and forth to make sure everything go well. But I was so deep in prior yesterday, I said cancel rehearsal. My God, Jesus. Because I was in preparation with the Lord. Anybody catch where I'm coming from? Glory to God. Amen. I was in preparation with the Lord. My God. And one of the things that the Lord showed me yesterday, I hope somebody stay with me right here. What the Lord showed me, I could rehearse all I want with God, with man, but if I don't rehearse with him, I miss the program. Hallelujah, my goodness. Anybody hear me? What the Lord showed me yesterday, I could rehearse with man all I want, but if I forget and miss to rehearse with God, I miss everything. Oh my God, hallelujah, so true. Is anybody hearing me today? Is, is this Sabbath day today? Is anybody hearing me today? Well, is anybody hearing me? The Lord God said, you can rehearse with man all you want. My Jesus. But if you forget to rehearse with God, you miss the program. It's all, right? it's all. So I chose yesterday to say, God, hook me up. So the Lord gave me a word, and I hope something that will be able to work with you. Lord, Lord. And you see that it noticed that it said the gospel car carrier. Now I'm not meant to be the gospel carrier. The purpose of this message is about the gospel carrier. It's not Errol Trench is a gospel carrier. The message, when I finish here today, I hope somebody push up their hand to heaven and said, Lord God, make me a gospel carrier. As a matter of fact, before I even get going, could anybody lift their hands wherever they are and say, Lord God Almighty, make me a gospel carrier. No, for, no, for some reason or the other, Apostle of Paul, Apostle of Peter, Apostle of the Apostles, and every, every one of these Apostles, would you agree with me that they were the Gospel carrier? Hallelujah, yes. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, I need some help. Minister Patrice, you may want to blow the horn again one more time. I need... Every one of the, the oh Lord, every one of the apostles was the gospel carrier. So when I speak about the gospel carrier, when I speak about the gospel carrier, let's make sure we understand what we're talking about. Every one of the apostles, every one of the apostles was a gospel carrier. I want somebody to ask yourself the question right now. Am I a gospel carrier? Blessed the Lord. Blessed the Lord. Jesus. 
If I don't get any further from here, I want you to look yourself in the eyes. Look yourself in any way you can look and look and say, Am I a gospel carrier? Kishama. I want somebody to look over. Look over to the. Oh Lord, somebody talk to me. 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 I want you to look at me. I want you to look at me and say, Minister Trench, I am a gospel carrier. Or I want to be a gospel carrier. Come on, somebody. I am a gospel carrier. Keep up. Keep up. When we talk about the gospel carrier, listen to me, somebody. Paul and, a, Paul, and a, Paul and Silas was a gospel carrier. Hallelujah. Timothy was a gospel carrier. Hallelujah. John was a gospel carrier. Yeah. Peter was a gospel carrier. Yeah. They all, somebody, is anybody here where I'm coming from? Yeah. Voice, yeah. voice over the nation is a gospel yeah. carrier. Yeah. Amen. God said a word for his people. God said a word for somebody. And I hope nobody on this program today, nobody in Sabbath today as a, as a spectator, you're here today to hear that God is looking for some gospel carrier. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Come on, somebody say to me, God is looking for some gospel carrier. God is looking for God some gospel carriers. God is looking for some gospel carriers. Is anybody hear me? Pastor Ovid, Pastor Ovid, God is looking for some gospel carrier. Hallelujah. God is looking for some gospel carrier. Yes, Listen to me. Let, let, let me just go down the road a little bit. Jesus, Jesus. And I want to let you understand the importance of being a gospel carrier. I want you, I, I want you to understand. And you see, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that I actually had you to pray for the apostle's voice. Because what I'm saying to you, I told you in the beginning, she don't stand. And that's what voice over the nation is. She speak the word of God to the nation. That's what voice over the nation is. Amen. 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 Keba, I want to acknowledge my colleague from Haiti. Is it from Haiti? Yes, amen. Yes. Is it from Haiti? Yes, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I want to acknowledge you, my friend, that God wants you to be a gospel carrier. Hallelujah, amen. Keba, to every voice that is on this program here, to every voice that is in Sabbath today, to every single voice, to every single ears, to every single mind that is here today, like you to become a gospel carrier. Minister Errol, I am not Pastor Patrice. Minister Errol, I am not Minister COVID. Pastor Errol, I am not the Apostle. God would like you to become a gospel carrier. Here is some reason why. Take me down a little bit in the music, my friend. Just a little bit. Hallelujah. Here's the reason why God would like you to become a gospel carrier. The Lord directed me to some areas. I mean, I said the Lord direct me to some areas. Some areas of interest. Some areas of interest that you might appreciate. Some areas of interest. And you might ask me, why did I go to those places? Luke 23. 34. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Then said, this is these are Jesus' last word, by the way. So I have three lines of Jesus' last word. And this is in Luke 23. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them. Somebody can finish it for me because everybody knows that line. Mm -hmm. Father, forgive them because they know not what they have done yes lord those are no we're talking about a lord and savior who is on the cross 
and now this is what he is saying somebody read it with me if you can father father forgive them because they know not what they have done is anybody in agreement with me with that line I just want to make sure everybody can hear me I apologize I want to make sure everybody can hear me can you all hear me amen, amen. praise God father forgive because they know not what they have done in that same moment in that same moment by the way Jesus was up on the cross let's make sure we understand when this word was made by Jesus Christ he was up on the he was on the cross now look down in Luke 2 again Luke chapter verse 2 which is 23 I'm so sorry Luke 23 43 here is what he said correct me if I'm wrong verily verily I say unto thee today thou shalt be with me in paradise yeah. so even while the Savior was dying he was still being a voice over the nation he was still speaking he was still speaking Hallelujah. you see let me say this again even while Jesus was dying on the cross he was still bringing somebody to his father hallelujah. somebody say with me here then down a little bit further hallelujah Jesus Christ in Luke 23 43 father into thy hands oh, I commit to my spirit, spirit. Oh, glory to God. his very father Father. Into thy hands do I command my spirit. Church, now the Lord allowed me to work something beneath that. And what I wrote is what are you willing to do about that? Jesus said, Father, into your hands into thy hands I command my spirit those were the very last words of Jesus Christ before he died on the cross my question that came behind that is friends and family what are you willing to do about that about that my lord then I jump over into Acts 1 for Acts 1 verse 2 until the day in which he was taken up through the Holy Spirit given commandment unto the apostles through the Holy Spirit now this is now these are now the very words now coming back and I hope you understand this is now at the resurrection I mean he has already re resurrected he's now back on earth so here is a mighty God here is a powerful God here is a holy Lamb of God here is a risen Savior speaking hallelujah after he threw after he threw the Holy Spirit given commandment unto the Apostle whom he had chosen my God whom he have chosen I know number two number three said to whom also he cho he, he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proof mm -hmm. my God infallible proof oh God. being seen of them for 40 days my God yes so the good Lord of the good Son of God the good Savior he now not only went down but he came back up triumphant and more powerful than he went down anybody agree with me now in the earlier part hallelujah in the earlier part i ask you as if you were at that moment in time when jesus said into thy hands i commit my spirit so i ask you then what are you willing to do about it Lord Jesus. but now if you never do anything about it in that statement where he gave the commandment 
you understand how important it is for you to do something about it hallelujah yes <laughs> oh lord i hope i hope you're staying with me here you see i hope you're staying with me because my question that jesus had me to write earlier when he said into thy hands i commit my spirit the question was what were you willing are you going to do about it you see many people right now will jump up and say well he's risen now i'll do something jesus christ didn't want you to do something when he's risen that means if when he's risen is when you're about to do something about it that means you didn't believe him in the first place Glory to God. Hallelujah. Things change. Stay with me. And he's and he's speaking of these things, proclaiming to the uh, pertaining to the kingdom of God. So when Jesus rose, he was speaking things pertaining to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Amen. My, night and day, I must ask you, friends. Night and day. I must ask you. They say there are 24 hours in a day. Is it still? <laughs> Hallelujah. It's still 24 hours in a day? Still is. Still is. Still is. So after 24 hours a day, after 24 hours in a day, how many of those 24 hours mm -hmm. do you fit? <laughs> do you Maybe. fit? Mm -hmm. Listen to me here. Of those 24 hours a day, how much of that do you fit into and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of god to the kingdom of god oh, i hope somebody read what i just uh, if you didn't hear what i just said read it yeah of your 24 hours of your 24 hours a day when jesus came back he spoke to the disciples but it was pertaining to what Yes. To the kingdom, kingdom of, of God. God. Amen. And then down a little bit further down in verse 4. Down in verse 4. And being assembled together. That's what your Sabbath is all about, isn't it? Amen. And being assembled together with them. Commanding them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. My God, today I have a word for you do not depart from the Hallelujah. message do not depart from his presence oh God oh somebody didn't hear me Jesus is giving a strength about minister pastor COVID minister COVID do me a favor they didn't hear me would you read for me Acts 1 and then read verse 4 for me I want somebody to get this and get it well Amen. Hallelujah. And being assembly. Go ahead. Acts chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Of the Father who said, Jesus. Read in Acts chapter 1, verse 4. Yes, please. Being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Lord which said he ye have heard of me for John truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many then stop for me please I beg you I told you before I told you 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 before this may not necessarily be a message of jumping up and down. This may may, may, may be a message of soul searching. Oh, God. It may, this may not be a jump up and down message. This may be a soul searching. Let the Lord. Praise God. And being assembly together with them commanding them that they should not depart from Jerusalem and what the Lord put in my spirit to tell you do not depart from the word glory to God hallelujah don't depart don't depart there is still a departure don't depart don't depart don't depart Jesus Christ of Nazareth gave his children his people strict instruction glory 
Let them go on. And friends and family, that instruction still exists today. Yeah. But the Lord God Almighty would like me to tell you, do not go to God. Hallelujah. Do not depart. Glory, bless the Lord. But he said, but wait for the promise of the Father which said he. Hallelujah, listen to me. The Lord also made me wrote another little note there. And that little note is to say to you, some promise we have to think about, don't we? Yeah. I promise we got to wonder if somebody failed you two, three times, it's tough for you to listen to them the fifth time. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I, I need somebody to stay with me in this and yes. understand where I'm coming yes. from. Some of our own family, if they say I'll be there at three o'clock, you can go somewhere and come back and come back at about nine because that's when they're going to be there. <laughs> Some people said if I give you 50, you end up getting 10 because I said, well, when I check it, it was all okay. But you want to talk? Oh, Lord, is anybody hearing me, man? Jesus, bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Is anybody hearing me? But what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, the promise of Jesus Christ is solid. It's, cannot be changed. Yeah. Cannot be changed. Mm. The promise of Jesus Christ is solid. So when he said wait, he meant wait for the promise. Yes. I may break my promise. Christ cannot get flat tire. Jesus Christ cannot get flat tire. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. QEW may running slow and Minister Patrice made it late to get to the sanctuary. But Jesus Christ, no QEW, no 401, no 427 can stand in his way. Oh, glory to God. He's all the time. I hope somebody, I hope somebody staying close with me this in this message. But there was something else going on because he said, For John, surely baptize with water. But, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost many, many days hence. I want to say something to somebody when I was putting this message together. Jesus Christ is very concerned yes, he is. He about is. you being filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let me say this again. Jesus Christ is very concerned about you being filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Throughout the Bible of me studying this when the Lord said rehearse with me it was all about the Holy Ghost. My Jesus, bless him, Lord. Glory. Hello. Hallelujah, bless him, Lord. Jesus Christ is concerned about you and the relationship with the Holy Ghost. Jesus, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, I told Lord. you this may not necessarily be a jump up. This may be a soul, soul searching. So down in verse 6, when they therefore were come together, they ask him, ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou this time restore the kingdom of Israel? Oh, Jesus. There was a question. Now, you, you got to understand, these followers and lovers of Jesus got scattered got disappointed went back to their regular job and then jesus rose and they were having their final conversation and there was a question asked and the question was asked when therefore let me just jump lord will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of israel do you realize that they did not ask jesus that question it was on the cross they didn't ask him when he was a, when he was running around. He, they asked him when he was the risen Savior. Anybody hearing me? My Lord Jesus. 
Anybody hearing me? Anybody hearing me? Amen. But John in 7, verse 7, minister, um, read it for me because this is, even though it's a nice verse, number 7, even though it's a nice verse, it's a verse you need to be concerned about. It's a verse I need to be concerned about. And read it down in number 7, verse 7. And, and he said unto them, please read it, please. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the season which the Father has put in his own mouth. Okay. So if any, I hope everybody heard that. And it is, and he said unto them, Thank you, Minister. It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father had put in his own power. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, get your Holy Ghost briefcase pack. Oh God, hallelujah. Yes, the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Get your Holy Ghost suitcase packed. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. My Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Did, 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 did I say? Did I say? Get your Holy Ghost suitcase pack. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You might be, oh Lord, you might be thinking about buying your first property, but still get your Holy Ghost briefcase pack. You might be still thinking of finishing university, but still get your case back. No man, no, no man, know the time or the season. No man, no man. Oh, glory. No man, know the time, nor the season. No man. It is within the Father's own power. But he shall keep up. Verse number eight. But he shall receive power. Oh, glory to God. After that, he shall the Holy Ghost. But he shall receive power. Hallelujah. And after that, the Holy Ghost. Keep up. Keep up. Yes. But after that, he shall receive power. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. After that, he shall receive, and, but he shall receive power. And after that, he shall receive the Holy Ghost. It's come yes. upon you. It yes. shall. Let me ask you a question, friends. If any of you, depending on the power of the apostle, I'm, she's my good apostle, but you're missing something. Yes. You're missing something. God has given every one of them. He was not saying, he, Oh Lord. Ooh, preach. Hallelujah. Is anybody hearing me? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Minister Amen. Patrice is out early in the morning getting things done. Hello, hello, hello. Your power is your power. Your Holy Ghost is your Holy Ghost. Listen to me. The Son of God. The Son of God knows you need the Holy Spirit. The Son of God knows that you will need the Holy Spirit. Are you in my shit? 
Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Keep on. These are people that are close to Jesus. Oh God. Yeah. These are people that is close to Jesus. That is that he makes sure that they know that they will need power and they will need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody hear me? These are people yeah. that are close to Jesus. That he knows will need the power and they will need the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So if weeks after weeks, months after months, 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 you are going about your business, but you and the Holy Ghost have no dealing, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Let the boy Jesus. Glory to God. Power. Hallelujah. Power. Hallelujah. Bishop. 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 Pisha, Pisha. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. How is your Holy Ghost? How is your power? How is your Holy Ghost? How is your power? How is your Holy Ghost? How is your power? Hallelujah. How is your Holy Ghost? How is your power? How is your Holy Ghost? How is your power? Jesus knew it was important for him to equip each and every one of them with the Holy Ghost. He knew it was important for them him to equip them with the Holy Ghost and power. How is your Holy Ghost? How is your power? But then Jesus, but then Jesus took it from there. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. Jesus said, but he shall receive power. After that, he shall receive the Holy Ghost. I'm sorry, then the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. Now listen carefully. I want you to listen and listen well. And he shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem, Hallelujah. in Judea, in Samaria, and in uttermost part of the earth. Hallelujah. Let's take it in sequence. You, but you shall receive Power. After that, he shall receive the whole the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and he shall be witness. We spoke about earlier the gospel carrier. But after he shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria. And the utmost part of the world. So, so when God said the utmost part of the world, I'm trying to figure out what God talking about. So what mm -hmm. came to my mind, and I judged on a few, is when He talk about the utmost part of the world. You know, because you heard about Judea, Jerusalem. So the Lord gave me a few names here: the Bahamas, Afghanistan, Holy Kamaloche, Bulgaria, Hallelujah, Albania, Holy Kamaloche, Barbados, Australia, Bulg uh, Bulgram, uh, Brazil, Hallelujah, Austria, Colombia, Chile, Canada, Ecuador, and Shetamaloche, uh, Kamaloche, Denmark, France, Germany, Namaloche, Shetamaloche, Shetamaloche, Bulgaria, Is anybody hearing me? Ghana, Ukraine. Israel, Hungary, Haiti, Alabano, Shetamako, Kuwait, Liberia, Lebanon, Mexico, in Morocco, and Nepal, Nigeria, Ilamano, Shekaba, Pakistan, Russia, Peru, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Poland, Portugal, South Africa, Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic, everywhere. Oh, glory. Cuba, Costa 
Jamaica, Fran, France, Finland, and Finland, Guyana, um, uh, Congo, Grenada, India, Jamaica, United States, England, Japan, Ulapunapunasa, the Vietnam, and um, the Vatican City, Jordan. Are you a gospel carrier? <laughs> Trinidad, Korea, North and South Korea, Aaron, Holy Pino Shala, Vietnam. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said, Lord, make me a gospel carrier. Yeah. Lord, make me a gospel carrier. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Minister, Minister, Minister Patrice, turn on the Apostle Mike. I need I, turn on the Apostle Mike. Turn it, turn it on. Turn on the Apostle Mike. Hiya, Shama. Shay. 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 Make me a gospel carrier, Lord. Shay! Rabbi! 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 Make me a gospel carrier, Lord! I want to be a gospel carrier. Make me a gospel carrier, Lord! Kayamo Make me a gospel carrier, Lord! Make me a gospel carrier! Shana Shiyama Shiyama Make me a gospel carrier Make me a gospel carrier Shiyama Shiyama so listen for a moment. Listen for a moment. So some people understood what Jesus was talking about. Listen for a moment. So some people understood what Jesus was talking about. So in Acts 3, Haliku Oshea, Halikim If I'm wrong, forgive me. But in Acts, but I'm sorry, in Acts 1, he almost could be three. Forgive me. Then find it if you can. Then they return. Then return they unto Jerusalem. Then return they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivia which is from jerusalem and the sabbath a sabbath day journey are we here on the sabbath day yes. a sabbath day journey so they return from wherever to wherever but now you understand that jesus already gave them instruction anybody remember that hallelujah yes hallelujah yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah anybody remember that yes. hallelujah and when the day of Pentecost <laughs> was fully come, <laughs> and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, fully come. they were all in one accord, in one place. Yeah. Somebody say for me, and when the day of Pentecost yeah. was fully come. Hima. And when the day, somebody hear me, of Pentecost was fully come, uh -huh. Kiba, they were all, Alikimo, Shabano, Setemi, Kopano, they were all on one accord, in one place. And somebody, <laughs> and somebody, <laughs> Suddenly, and suddenly there came a sound. Hakimo. 
city of Brent. There's a place called the Upper Fords. The sea was once where the land is now. I am explaining to you that no man knows exactly where his feet will touch. Because when you go up to this place, you see some amazing sights. But the most amazing sight that you will see is fossils from where the Michigan Basin once was. It is now dry land. So if your feet cross that territory, you have crossed where the sea once was. And so no one will know when you build an altar where the sea was. But one day the sea may return. the altar shall not be removed. Amen. The name of Jesus Christ. Minister Tripp, some of the places where you go, 
into some desolate places and some neighborhoods where there are now wonderful houses but there were not houses you are walking in a forest that's right that's right that's right god put trees there he did i empower you because i heard the thought of god pleading let pentecost arise in you yes yes I heard they were one accord, Minister Trent. And something tells me that when the Holy Ghost has fully come and has gotten into everybody, then we don't have to worry about the unity of the church. Because this Holy Ghost is working on the one accord. Nothing will be done. Till it's accomplished. By this accomplishment. I'm glad you're talking about the Holy Ghost. I don't know who told you what I was doing. <laughs> but let the Spirit be one. A sound. Minister, the Lord bless you. Notice, understanding the ministry of the altar. And why the altar of God must be raised up to take down the altar of Baal. Jezebel will be overthrown. The name of Jesus Christ. You've got a clap hand for this ministry today in Jesus' name. Realizing that He puts us in the situation to change us so we can change. But I'm learning to trust in more than the gentleman preached today. I want to be my Lord. Sister Sandra, I thank you for your, I thank you for your testimony. It was the mission to the, um, the internet, but we, we got, we got the, 